Cannabis Radio. Brault. 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 B R A U L T. K O D I. Okay. We're in Anonymous Radio. And you were saying about, uh, I forget what topic. I was saying. I was talking about censorship and not in UC Berkeley. You know, with all those college people just like shouting down conservative uh, common conservative speakers at college campuses. That's you know? very popular out here. Yeah. Yeah, that's extremely popular, and I mean, it's starting to happen all over the country. All these millennials are all being brainwashed by colleges, by college professors. Isn't it always been like that? They're all just like, they've all been fucking brainwashed. Well, I, university professors have typically always been left. I mean, that goes way back. I remember when I was at USC in the 90s, and USC was a conservative university with professors. What's that? Uh, university of Southern California had, was one of I the... I never... Sorry. No, good, good. Have you ever heard of Mark Dice? Yes. I actually have his books on Kindle. The true story of fake news and liberalism find a cure. Um, okay. And what did he say in those books? Yeah. I haven't fully read them yet. <laughs> but he's releasing another book in November and the date is unknown. What's it about? Or what's it called? Or the title? We don't know. Oh, okay. So he'll have another book. An about. unknown unknown. An unknown unknown. <laughs> okay. Well, well let, me, let me ask you. Part of the, the reason that Telex has been working with 13 other red conservative states is because here in California, and I'm asking your opinion, we were told... You'll never get the votes. America will never let you uh, vote uh, you out. Conservatives would be crying in the streets if California ever left because they love you and they just can't admit it. Is that true from your understanding of living in a red part of Illinois? I don't believe that. I don't believe that because Illinoisans have hated Chicago. They've hated them. Because Chicago has literally control over the politics of the state. Because so people in Illinois have hated them with a fucking passion. And and how do people in just red... being honest? Yeah, no. Well, that's what I'm asking is, how do people in the red part there feel about California? Would they be weeping if California left, or would they be saying good riddance? No, they would not be weeping. They would be saying good riddance indefinitely. Besides, those areas should be separated. Well, that's that's why we do these interviews because the news here in California tells us. Oh, oh! I know what the news is like there. It's all like leftists, just like CNN. It is pretty progressive based. Yeah. Um, that's true. Looks like fucking CNN and the fucking fake news industrial complex. I mean, get, for example, the fake Russia investigation. Uh, you don't believe, uh, Trump had anything to do with, I guess, uh, rigging an election with the help of the Russian government? Well, I don't know, really. Besides, I looked at the report, and there was it said nothing regarding that. That's true. That's true. They they said there was effectively no evidence of that, although they did talk about yeah uh, corruption. And now they're trying to go after him with this uh, with this Ukraine thing when Trump specifically wanted them to investigate CrowdStrike. a software and a Linux firm in which the DNC handed the. Uh, Handed the leaked email servers to instead of the FBI. How do you feel about that investigation? I feel the investigation is a fucking attack, attempted coup. Thirteen months before the fucking election. You're kind of too late for that now. How do you feel conservative America will react? Let's—I mean, to hypothetically. Oh, if they impeach 
Trump, if they impeach Trump, conservative America will be in a fucking uproar. There will be civil war. Do you think that violence from conservatives could result if Trump is impeached? Oh, definitely. Interesting. Because he would be the he would they, people would be pissed, dude. That's what the left want. That's what the crazy part of the left really want. They wanted to throw him out. They wanted Hillary to be in. But if Hillary was in, and it would be much, much worse. Don't forget fucking Benghazi, dude. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so you don't buy the narrative and, that she was asleep or just couldn't be uh, reached and she didn't know what was going on until it was uh, all over? Or, and the fact that she started that war that Adam was in. Oh, the Iraq war? Yeah. Yeah. Don't forget that. Uh, yeah. She got us into a bunch of wars that we should have never gotten our asses involved in. And look how much that we're in now. Uh, you don't feel that there would be a, this is what some of the liberal press is saying out here. Um, there would be a calm once Trump was removed and, and people would begin to heal and America would come back together once he's gone. Do you think that's accurate or? I don't. I don't believe that. America's not going to heal in Mike Pence because Mike Pence is going to take over and he's the second worst choice. <laughs> America's not going to heal? Do you think this country's going to fucking heal? It's not. Especially at this point. Hell, did you even see, uh, did you see Game 5 of the World Series when Trump and a bunch of politicians look on the jumbo try and everyone said, Boo! I'm in D.C. They all said boo in D.C. And a few of them even said lock him up. Uh, it reminded me of when uh, the Obama... Hillary. Uh, Michelle had went to a NASCAR race and they yelled boo at her so loud it drowned out the automobile engines. <laughs> That's awesome. That's fucking awesome. I'm just going to go with both I even remember... Yeah, I even... Yeah, plus, remember when Obama airlifted those two doctors out of a fucking hot zone and broke hot zone protocol during the Ebola crisis? I heard something about that, yeah. Uh, yeah, he fucking hot zone, he fucking broke hot zone protocol, and there's only one man who could do that, and that's the President of the United States. Uh, you wanna... And plus, I give it the chance they were going to experiment on him. For that Ebola vaccine, because it's been given the green light. I I don't know. I don't have enough. I don't really have data to engage. Um, I will say that it was unusual, and I do recall Politico reporting that the Obama, which is a left magazine, oh, okay, crap, um, and they reported that uh, the no, administ huh? administration of Obama had allowed Iranian terrorists who were dealing drugs to leave and go back to Iran because he wanted the Iran deal. So he allowed drug wow. dealing terrorists to go. That's from Politico, which is a left publication. But when I talk to people on the left, they have no idea that ever happened, which just tells me a lot. I didn't know that happened either. I mean, seriously, I don't really pay attention to news that often. Because I don't believe whatever news tells me. I try to figure out to do my own means and keep it with a grain of salt. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's wise. Think for yourself. Yeah, I try to keep it with a grain of salt because I can't believe anything on national TV anymore. I do look on Drudge, though. Have you noticed that uh, the, Drudge, the Drudge Report's been leaning a little left lately? I... I... Uh, I haven't followed it enough. Um, I know Cal. Yeah, one of my pals, one of my pals on this show called Sidetrack, he's a close friend of mine. His name's Bo Hotchkiss. He suffers from Bo Hotchkiss disease. Have you ever heard what Bo, have you, do you know what Bo Hotchkiss disease is? I know what Hotchkiss disease is, yeah. 
that's that's no, I said Bo Hotchkiss disease. I not know. Slim, not no. Bo Hotchkiss disease. Well, what is that? It's a disease in which you with in which I'm going to tell you is a disease in which if you smoke any amount of pot at all, you pass out for 14 hours <laughs> and you don't wake up ever. <laughs> Ever. Not even an air horn can wake you up. Damn. Um, yeah, it's yeah. a mysterious disease. We're trying to find a cure, but sadly, marijuana isn't legal in Ohio. It is going to be. It is going to be uh, legal for recreational use in Illinois and starting in January. Really, really? Huh. Yeah, you can have up to thirty grams on your person at one time. Wow. Okay. Um, I've heard in California you can grow there like up to a bajillion plants or some shit. As long as you're done, as long as there's not evidence of you selling it, you're clear. Uh, I know you can grow a lot, but, um, more uh, well, more than the average person would need. And yeah, you're not supposed to sell it. Uh, you have to do something else to be able to sell it. <coughs> Although there are a lot of private citizens. I heard that some type of license. There is a licensing to actually sell it, and there's regulation with that, but it has been open to a Dude, lot of people. Dude, that's insane. Dude, that's, oh my god, there must be, there must have to have so many licenses, because one of my pals who I told you is Scott Culberson, he's a friend of mine, I heard it's so hard to start a business out there in California, they need to de- they need to, they need to take off all those regulations and let people easily start their fucking business. Without all these regulations and licenses and keep on to pay thousands of dollars just to simply do all of the government red tape. Uh, I, I agree. Regulations are big here. Uh, so are taxes. And I have always said taxes and regulation needs to come down. Um, but Taxation is theft, hombre. Uh, it's a form of it, yeah. 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 Uh, uh, yeah. The, the the question is, is that going to happen here? Um, and I've long felt California's yeah. blue. It's not going to turn back conservative. There's not going to be... You don't know that. I've talked to a lot of conservatives who do think that, yeah, they can switch the climate here. I got to tell you out here, it ain't going to happen. Ever. But <laughs> I, I know a lot of people don't believe that. They. What do you think, what do you think Jerry Brown did? As opposed to this new governor, loser of yours. Well, I, I like Newsom, um, but I will say that Jerry Brown was basically the closest thing we had to a, a fiscal conservative. Brown, right? And he doesn't get credit for that um, at all. Yeah, because I've heard Jerry Newsom also signed some bill prohibiting schools from uh, suspending kids up to eighth grade. Is that true? I'd have to look into that. Um, yeah, because I've heard something revolving around that, and that's just ridiculous. Uh, I, I'm not familiar enough to, to really comment on. I will say that that's the kind of stuff we do out here, so I wouldn't be shocked if we did that. What? Sign stupid bills like that? <laughs> Uh, we we consider it a step in the right direction. I, I get that a, a majority of the middle of America doesn't see it that way, and that's why we're talking. You know, that there's these ideas that America has for the way things should be, and Californians have not that idea. And, and so we do these things that appear insane. I have family in Texas, so you're not the Where first are you from? I was born and raised in Fresno, California, but my mom and my father were from... Why? Oklahoma. Mexico. Hmm? Mexico. I'm a third generation Mexican. I was born here. Because, man, at least, dude, I was about to say, why didn't we, haven't we built that fucking wall yet? Which is a constant thing I say. Uh, you can say it. Uh, I, yeah, I was going to keep saying, why haven't we built that fucking wall yet at the border? As I understand, they are building some of it. Um. But with the Democrats taking over the House, they, there's not going to be any funding for the wall and fucking Skeletor, Nancy Pelosi, and shift for brains. Well, actually, the the 
the Democrats, as much as they talk about resisting, did approve a Trump budget that did allow money for the border wall. The exact opposite of what they said they were going to do. Yeah, you won't see that really brought up in the liberal press because it was a huge win for Trump and they backed down on some of their promises, which we in the CalExit movement point out. You go, you think you're going to resist? Uh, What's this? They just did what Trump said and funded his border wall, which is what they promised would never happen. But not all of it. No, not all of it, but they make these statements about we're but never going to fund the wall, only. it'll never happen, and then they back down and do it. And that's that's why we want to call exit out here, because uh, the resistance movement... Why can't movement. the just use his own money to fund that goddamn wall? I don't know. Seriously. I don't know. I mean, Come on, he has enough money to fund that goddamn wall. Uh, I, I would, you know, he acts like he does, so I don't know. I why. know there was a guy in... New Mexico, with some triple amputee guy, I can't remember his name. He built a part of the wall, privately funded, through donations on GoFundMe. can't remember his name. Um, I'm not sure either, uh, but... Yeah. I mean, if they want the wall, they could but, I mean, Arizona's the most frequently traveled part of it. Uh, I know that Arizona has a large amount of traffic through there. Um, well, I'm out of foot traffic. Hey, um, uh, what's Southern California like? Full zombies? <laughs> what, what, what does that mean? What do you, what's the insinuation? People that don't really pay attention to anything. In like, here's the best example. When Mark Dice was doing a man on the street video back in 2015 or 2016, no, he had these petitions signed. He had these petitions to take away the First Amendment. And he didn't even have to, he told them that, but then they didn't even read the fine print and just signed it. I, I would need to watch the video before I could really comment. I will say that people are very busy in Southern California, and they're very consumed with themselves and their lives. And in technology. Uh, yeah, and to have a real deep conversation with people in LA takes effort. Um, not Wait, like with Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan does a, a good job having good conversations. Um, Marcus is trying to get him, Adam back on his show because he was actually Adam was actually on his show in 2013. There's a YouTube video. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's trying to get him back on. He released two press releases. Uh, I hope he does. I, I, you know, get along well with Adam. Yeah. And I like the Rogan. Uh, I think he asks good questions. Yeah, and, and Alex Jones will never let Adam back on. He will never let him on. He sold out. He sold out to Donald. Alex Jones He's bought out. Yeah, he sold out. Uh. Oh, yeah. But I thought Donald was anti-establishment, so isn't that... How do you sell out to the anti-establishment? Well, don't you remember when Alex was banned from all the... Every single fucking uh, platform on the planet? Yeah. 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 Hence the most censored idiot in the world. Right. Yeah. Well... Yeah, he got bought out by Trump. Not, I, mean, I bet he got paid by him. Just to maintain his show, because, you know, that show runs out of money pretty fast. Huh. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday. Oh, yeah. Um, Is today your final your birthday? Uh, no, it's uh, because I didn't want people to know my real birthday on the Internet so that I had to deal with scams, I listed a alternative birthday. But thank you for the sentiment. I appreciate Aww. it. Well, my information's really public. Like, my email's out there, my name, my phone number, our mailing address. Marcus sent me your phone. Marcus was going to send me your phone number, but I guess he forgot. And that's fine. Uh, I have my phone number out there. It's for the movement, 415-595-3394. But because of that, Listen. No, his real number is nine 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 one one.
Don't say I that. I heard there's Don't. three wildfires going on. Um, Ted, there's there's always wildfires here, um, and that's why we want to. I mean, here. currently, I'm sure there is. Um, it seems to be a thing out here, and I will point out that the the land where those wildfires happen is typically federal. That's why we want to leave because we don't it's, get to manage the yeah. It burns down and then we get blamed for it. It's not our fault. It's humans. It's idiot humans who start campfires and they get out of control or lightning strikes or power lines going down. We claim it's it, we believe it's bad management by the federal government. You know, they run the force. We don't get to. And then they constantly burn down. That's so... That's, I bet the... I bet Obama's doing it. As a way to make them suffer. How would a... Why would Obama burn California? I don't know. I mean, you remember all those god-awful movies they make? Honestly, I wish they would just burn down Hollywood. I mean, they've already made god-awful movies. I mean, these days, the movies from Hollywood are just awful. They're only made to please the feminists. There you go. That's why Obama would do it, because he has that deal with Netflix, and he wants to destroy Hollywood so he could build up his own business in Netflix. And so his plan is to burn down California. Yeah. Okay. There you go. You heard it first. Here. Um, right. On not on not on not anonymous radio. <laughs> now I even made my own theme song for the show. Let's hear it. I call it. I call it the edge. Okay. Let's you hear. You have it. to hear it on the show. Baby. Oh. You have okay. to hear it on the show. It's re- Can you? It's recorded into my songs. Can you sing a little jingle? Play for a Or home a bar or something. I can rap over the top of it. Anonymous radio. Anonymous. Anonymous. That's not even close. Anonymous. It's off a song called The Edge from GK4. Well, no, that was me rapping, and you can have that. If you want to have that rap and put it over your song to make it seem more edgy. I also got a turn. I also, one of my pals, my pal Bo, he already made a theme song. But I made mine using another song and my voice, and I deepened it to hell and back. I really <laughs> deepened it. And said, wait, I think I got a copy of it. I think I, I think I got it in one of my twists. I got it in one of my episodes, I see. I've, I've gotten in like 79 episodes so far, and it's been in existence since 2015. Well, let me, let me, um, wind us down, um, so I have to, Why? I got to do another interview, I'm sorry, well, I'm going to introduce you to the group, and, and we can continue talking there, also, I'd like to invite you to our Calisic conference this weekend, I'll give you some Zoom information, you could join, and we could talk more then, what's Zoom? Zoom is like Skype. Oh, like, is it video? Yes. And it looks like I'm going to have to get that 720p out that I rarely use. Um, for everybody listening at home, uh, tell them how they could find you and any last-minute info. Uh, go to blogtalkradio.com forward slash anonymous radio or you can call in at 323-657-1405 we're usually on Saturdays I have 10 p.m. Central 11 p.m. Eastern okay all right the show is produced by myself okay um, I'm gonna post this up I'll send you a link and I will email you today with the rest of the coalition and add you on and uh I'll, I'll send you some I'll information. I'll try to get you on my show. Yes, I'm willing to come on, absolutely. And I will get you some information for the Calexit Conference this weekend. All right. All right. All right. I will post this up and I'll talk to you real soon. Give me about an hour. Okay. All right. I'll talk to you soon.
All right. Okay. Bye bye. An hour? Why an hour? Uh, because I have a couple more phone calls to make, and uh, I got to respond to a few text messages. Oh. It's it's it takes Goodbye. a lot of effort to coordinate a movement. Um, so give me a little bit of time, and I'll I'll hook you up real quick. I promise. Give me an hour. Okay. Goodbye. Okay.